I'm gonna show you how to make the ultimate ironworker sleever bar. Stay tuned. In the Pacific Northwest, we call our personal pry bars sleever bars because we carry them on our hip and if you're not careful, it'll stab you in the arm. What I have here is a Kin Tools 30 inch hex bar, made in America. I like the steel properties that this bar presents. It's a good foundation to start with. Definitely needs some work before I go up in the air with it, this spoon is huge. But, it's a good start. First off, I fluted this bar with a CNC mill. flat has it's kind of hard to see but every flat has a quarter inch slot that's 3 16 deep in return it shaves off one and a half pounds and since I wear it on my hip it's extremely beneficial to have this thing a little bit lighter some people think that milling out every flat makes it stronger because you add overall surface area. Some people think that it makes it weaker because you're milling out a big, huge gash in every flat. What I personally know, I'm no engineer, but I've used two different bars that were fluted and I pulled all my might and I've stood on them and I trusted them with my life and they didn't break. So. That's as far as I'll go on that aspect of this video. Another good thing about having your bar fluted is it adds a texture so you can grip your bar more. It's just an added little touch. So when you're a million feet in the air, you don't drop it on somebody and kill them. That's all Joe. But with a brand new bar, brand new from the store, fluted or not fluted, you still have to do a little bit of work to make your bar work wise before you wanna go up in the air with it. First off, one of the main things you wanna do is make this point, see how it's only tapered to here? You wanna bring it back to at least here and then make the point a little bit more pointy, not necessarily pointy, if anything, I like to do it flat as like a wedge, not to a point. You don't want it completely pointy because then it won't be strong at all. And as soon as you put your bar in a hole and try to pry on it, it'll just flatten it and it'll be all Joe. You don't want to do that. So don't go crazy. Just barely make this a little bit more pointy. Another thing, you want to make this spoon fit inside of a 7 8 hole. And if you didn't know, every hole is supposed to be a 16th larger than the diameter of the bolt. So a 7 8 hole is a 15 16 actual hole, if that makes sense. Little fun fact. But this current spoon is, let's see. Looks like one inch, kind of hard to do on camera. Yeah, it's one inch. So I'll shave it down on each side in order to fit into a 7 8 hole so you can get more leverage when you need it. Another thing I like to do is on my point is just make a little kink in it. So on the hard to reach points, you can make magic happen. This spoon is currently freaking massive. You 
definitely want to shave this thing a little bit that way, a little bit that way. And don't make your spoon sharp when you're filing it because it's going to be on your hip. And if it touches your arm, you're going to get gassed. You'll be 801 before you even get in the air. That's all bad. That's bad juju. I like to put a little kink on my point so I can hook the hole sometimes. It's uh, kind of hard to explain, but when you need it, you need it. And you always want to be prepared for everything. So have your tools as work wise as you can so when you're in the air, you don't look like a doucher. What you absolutely do not want to do with your bar is weld it at all. Like some people weld their washer, that is all bad. This thing's gonna be, you're gonna risk your life with it. You do not want to weld on it and make it brittle because this is high tempered steel. So as soon as you heat it up, it's gonna make the whole thing brittle and bad. Do not weld it. And when you're working on your bar, don't take a grinder to it and heat it up that's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna heat it up and then it's gonna make it brittle. You do not wanna do that. What I have is a 12 inch disc sander. You can't really see it, but I'm gonna use that for the majority of my filing and whatnot on my bar. And I'll fine tune it with a file, a hand file. But if you don't have a huge industrial one and a half horse sander, 12 inch disc sander like I do, just take a file and drink a beer and have fun. But definitely want to work on your bar before you go up in the air with a brand new bar. This thing's all bad. Enough talk. Let's make some magic happen. So my bar's getting a little warm. So what you don't want is if you see your bar turning colors at all, that is bad. So my bar hasn't really turned colors at all. It's still really shiny. But since I'm using an industrial sander, I'm gonna do it in spurts. You don't wanna rush this because what's a work-wise bar if it's gonna fucking break? You don't want it, you don't want it brittle. You're gonna hurt yourself, hurt your partner and waste your time. to spoon a 7 8 hole when you need that extra leverage or barely stab a hole where you'll get your other spud in there so, so you can two tool it you can fine tune it throughout your years it's a good little start a fluted 7 8 hex bar I didn't really elaborate how I get a little crook in my in my tool usually I'll have to do it at work I'll stab a point and then I'll like bend it just barely putting some of my point in there um 
I think I can do it with my table. My table has a bunch of holes in it. So after I'm done getting my bar how I want it, nice and pointy and milled down, then uh, we'll try to get a point to it. But yeah, I got it spooned currently. Is that 15 sixteenths? It was at one inch, so I'm going to still mill it down a little bit more. If you're looking to get your bar fluted, like this one, you can go to my friends at Marvinite Metal Works. Their quality is second to none. I'll freeze that for you. Drop a comment down below that you're interested in getting your bar fluted and I will touch base with you and him and we can organize it. He charges $100 to get it fluted and you can definitely tell the difference. Right around a pound and a half, this bar is so light. Everybody has their own preferences and little styles and stuff. I've seen people put like a bunch of kinks in it and a press. They call them Z-bars, but yeah. Main thing is don't heat up your bar, don't do it too fast, don't weld on your bar, all bad. I'm gonna probably go over it with a file and fine tune it. You can spend hours on it. Don't rush it, it's your bar, make it your bar. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe for more Ironworker videos. I got a lot more on the hook, so work safe out there, boys.